I appointed, I appointed uh, uh, General Logola. General Logola is among the people who went to Bomas to try to overturn my victory. Do you know that? But because when I looked at his CV, he was the best person to be general. I called him and I sat him down. I told him, my friend, you went to Bomas to try and overturn my victory. But because you are the best person to be general, I'm going to give you the job. That is how it works with me. That's why I told you, if a person has the qualification, if he is the best for the job, I will give him the job. But that is the military. There is a code of conduct for the military and how polit politics works in Kenya, Mr. Let me tell you, my friend, I had the opportunity. I could have appointed anybody. I had, I think, 10 choices. I didn't have to. You know, there are people who say, oh, you know, William Ruta appointed uh, Ogola because he was the deputy C, uh, CDF. That's not the case. I made the decision consciously. And I made the decision against the advice of many people. Many people told me, you should not give this, you should not reward this kind of uh, behavior. Okay. But, you know, I also must be sensitive. What exercised my mind? This gentleman has a good track record. And in fact, when I spoke to him, and uh, it's not something that I should be talking about, but because you have asked a, 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 a good question. What exercised my mind is this gentleman, yes, he may have made a mistake. Maybe because the commander in chief that time told him what to do. Maybe he. And when I talked to him, he told me, I have no defense. He told me, I have no defense. You do with me whatever you want. I cannot defend. It was wrong. What I did was wrong. Yeah? I am also conscious. Uh, uh, my good uh, friend uh, Ayub. I'm also conscious that since independence, there is nobody from Nyanza who has ever been CDF. And it also played in my mind that I don't want a situation where a whole community think they cannot, they cannot occupy a certain office. So many things that are part of my system overweighed the mistake he had done. Okay. You know? So I, I want to uh, tell you that I make very sensitive appointments. I make very deliberate appointments. Many of the appointments, of course, that do not have to directly require my signature Many of these managing directors, I don't know who, they are uh, interviews okay. all over the place. Okay. You know, so, and uh, when a panel decides, uh, for example, uh, I was brought um, uh, a panel that interviewed uh, the CEO of a museum. And just by coincidence, you know, the person who became number one was my classmate. And I did. I, I, I never. I, I never even uh, asked anybody to to assist her. So when they when it came to me, I told my friend, you know, if she is the best, okay. she was a lady. Okay. So it's safe to assume that according to the president of Kenya, Kenya is a country where all Kenyans are equal before the law. But interestingly, according to his deputy president, it's a shareholding company in which political appointees ought to be the priority for the government. I think you should not uh, take the sentiments of my deputy out of context. What was the context? I think it is fair if you can arrange an interview with him so that you can contextualize. You know, because now we are discussing him, me and you, yeah. and he's not here. Not him per se, Mr. No, President. No, because that's what it okay. is. Okay, not you him know? per se, Mr. President. We, we are discussing what he said. He is he's no, not no, the subject right. here, but, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me put it this way. Let me paraphrase the question. What's your interpretation of what a shareholding company means? What do you understand by it? I think from where I sit, I think what Tugadika Shagwa is just trying to say is that while it is true that first we must serve all Kenyans equally, we must to the extent possible 
spread appointments across the country. And that's what I have tried as much as possible to do. If you look at my CA, uh, PSS, I think I got PSS from 41 counties. If you look at the, the CSS, I got CSS, I think, from 45 counties. Every county has a CS in my administration, even the ones who voted for my opponent. I put them. If it was the philosophy of my deputy, yes. they wouldn't be shareholders, mm. and therefore they wouldn't qualify. But you know, there, there is an, an extent to which you must nationalize, you know? Many people thought, for example, the Hustler Fund. Many people thought, oh, you know, this is just going to be for the people who voted for uh, Kenya Kwanza. It is not. Look at the, the distribution of the Hustler Fund. Every county in the Republic of Kenya equally, you know, you don't have to know nobody. You don't have to know your MP. You don't have to speak to nobody. It is your phone and uh, Hustler Fund. You have your, you have your money, you move on. So, that is, and, and precisely, uh, my good brother Ayu, precisely what I was saying. Instead of arguing about 20 appointments, 15, I don't know, this community, that community, why don't we bake a bigger cake? Mm. Why don't we create a million, two million jobs so that everybody has a piece of the pie? And that is what I am asking my good people, the people of Kenya, to help me, you know, invest in these programs, let us pay our taxes, let us contribute to the housing uh, fund, let us, let, let us, those of us who have a job, let us not hold those who are in, in, without a job in contempt. It, they have not committed any crime. They are not lesser human beings. Well, it is so just that they don't have the opportunity me and you have. Mm. Let us do something about them also feeling part Mwishmiwa, okay, kabla um, uh, mwelekezi wetu wa kiongozi wetu kumalizia, naomba tu ukate mzizi wa fitina kwa uh -huh. swali lake uh -huh. Ayub. Kwa hivyo, sasa hivu neza kuambia wa Kenya kwamba matamshi ya naibu wako unayakana na kwa yakashifu kwamba serikali yako si kampuni ya hisa. Aya ni mambo yako. Kwa hivyo, unamunga mkono basi. Aya ni mambo yako. Tu, tu, tuambia Nime jiwa. Nime uh -huh. you know, yule buwana ni mtu mwenye ako na Eh, anaweza kujieleza. Mm -hmm. Mbona nyinyi mnakuja kumleta hapa kumja, kumleta kwa mjadala hapa? Mumemuliza yeye akakataa kuwaona. Tumeleta maneno yake atuje. Yeah, mbona mnaleta maneno yake na ni mtu mzima? Kwa sababu ni akona kilitimamu. Wewe ndio kiongozi wa serikali. Mbona 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 msiende kum... nimewaeleza msimamo wa serikali ya Kenya. Sasa ile imebaki mtafute anaitwa Rigiji. Mhm. Mm eh, mtafute. Asante. <laughs>